Alright, so here I'm printing the base plate for my three pound robot named Spinner Winner Chicken Dinner. This is going to hold the motors and the three um, UHMW uh, side and back panels, which are going to hold the, the weapon bar or the, the beater bar, the finger tech beater bar. So I got about another hour or so of printing left. Here we have our piece of UHMW that we're going to cut in our mill. Alright, and so we're going to get this started here, let's go. Um, here's the 3D printed part that I did last night. Um, I just have it like temporarily mounted in there so you can kind of see how it does it. It just holds the UHMW pieces together and then uh, I will have a piece of Lexan that kind of sits in the inside lip so it's not, so when pressure comes from the sides it won't be relying on the 3D print to hold it in place. And also at the bottom too. You can see there's like a two millimeter lip. And that's uh, also a Lexan piece is going to sit over that as well. So at this point, what I'm doing is I'm testing out uh, this, this motor and see if it's good enough, see if it's strong enough to spin it. And also this little 30 amp ESC, we'll find out. Um, I may have to change this thing. The, this is a little bit over too far to the left there. So what it's doing is it's... Uh, making it kind of pull to the side. So I'm going to reprint this a little thicker and beefier and also I'm going to move it over like um, three or four millimeters so it kind of rests in the center more than to the side there. Alright so let's get this uh, prepared here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, solder in my JST plug right onto the ESC versus trying to add these together and just doing all that and that'll make it a little cleaner and it can be shorter as well and also um, I'm gonna cut these down to maybe right about there tin those up and get those ready to solder to the motor so our irons heating up that only takes a few minutes so we'll get these cut up there we'll strip them There we go, that's ready to run that part. All right, so I took that off of there. Now we're gonna desolder those wires. And I may actually shorten this, this is ridiculously long. It's for a drone, so. We'll tin these up.
probably should, should have switched to a larger um, head on this. Produces more heat at a time. There we go. There is separate the black wire first and we're going to pull on it as we're getting it hot. There we go. That one came undone good. I will also do it to the green wire. There we go. All right, so we're going to shorten this up substantially, something like that. Strip them real quick. You can strip those two at the same time. Pretty easy. Now we're gonna tan them. There we go. So the green one was on the left side, so I'll do that one first. Do the ground now. So that's signal, and this is the ground. That really didn't do good. There we go. All right, so now that ESC is ready. To be shrunk, or shrink wrap over it again. We'll wait though, just in case if we have to redo something, we'll just sit it on there. Like that. And now let's tan our motor wires. Those are ready. And now let's solder these to the motor. So we'll put some uh, shrink wrap on there first before we do it. It's a good size piece, I need two more. We'll slide those onto the longest wire we have so we don't accidentally shrink it before we need to shrink it. All right, so now let's solder these wires together. I'm not sure of the direction, so we're going to solder through together and see how it goes. And if I need to reverse it, we'll just switch two of them. So let's do this red one first. There we go. Done.
I'm sure there is a way to to know. Like I would imagine if they're all straight across from each other, that it probably always goes a certain direction, but I'm just not sure what it is. I should look it up and see. It may be different per ESC per motor as well. It's not the prettiest soda job, but we're just testing, so it's alright. Even though I'll probably just leave it if it fits, if it works the right direction. So we'll let this cool down just for a second here before we try to slide this up. I need to slide it up at least on two so I don't short anything when I test it. And I'm going to go grab the battery be right back. Alright, so here's the battery I'm using. It's a 3S uh, 70C 850 milliamp hour battery. So that's the battery I'm going to test it with. <clears throat> okay, these are cool enough. So let's cover at least two of these. Now let's cover all three, might as well. Why not? I'm <laughs> having a hard time covering this for some reason. There we go. So we're gonna, I should shorten these as well. These are ridiculously long. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's put this into channel one. Cause that's the way my system is set up. Ground on the, oh these are backwards. Ground on the inside. Funny. And I plugged into the wrong channel anyway. Not like I'm gonna be driving it right now anyway, but still. Oh, we need our controller. Be right back. So I'm using the Tyrannus X Lite FR Sky. Um, I believe this is the, yeah, this is the one that's the, the weapon lock. So I have that flipped. <laughs> We're going to hold this down here when we do this because I really don't have a way to do this properly. I don't have a clamp big enough to clamp this down anyway. So we're going to hope for the best. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're going to slightly spin it up and see. All right, so wrong direction. All right, so we're going to unplug it and we're going to reverse two wires so we can have it spin the proper direction. And that was really dangerous. You should never test your motor of your weapon while not having it clamped down and you out of completely out of the way. That was very foolish of me. Um, but I did it. Don't copy me. All right, so let's reverse two of these wires. So 
So we'll move the yellow to the outside. And the black one to the middle here. Get some fresh solder on there. If you want a good connection. There we go. Let's move this yellow one to the outside. All right, so here's a spin up test of my three pound bot, spinner winner chicken dinner. Oh yeah, nicely scared. <laughs>